Chance archaeological finds are made all the time by people out walking in fields or digging their gardens. The Portable Antiquities Scheme provides an identification and recording service to members of the public who find objects of archaeological interest. Hi, Jim. Hi, Kevin. Katie. Thank Sit you very down. much. How are you? All right, thank you. Been Great. walking the fields again. Brilliant. My trusty detector. If you Excellent. Know how and I've got some things for you. Oh, look. great. Responsible metal detectorists who search on ploughed land with the permission of the landowner and who report their discoveries to the Fines Liaison Officer can make a huge contribution to our understanding of Wiltshire's past. My role as a Fines Liaison Officer is to uh, work with members of the public and make them realise that there is this forum for them where they can bring fines yeah. in to be identified and recorded. The Fines Liaison Officer enters information yeah. onto a database a that's available to all on the internet. This is extremely useful for archaeologists and is also a great resource for researching school projects or finding out what's been discovered in the area where you live. The Portable Antiquity Scheme exists to record all fines, archaeological fines made by members of the public. When a fine comes into us for recording, we have to imagine that we'll, we may never see that find again. Um, so we have to record the find in as much detail as we possibly can, so we weigh it and measure it, take photographs, describe it in as much detail as we can, and try and find parallels in, in published references. I'm enthusiastic about finding uh, items of historical interest, and it's always of interest to go onto the uh, internet, uh, the website, and find out what other people have found. Chance finds can be as important as the results of an archaeological excavation, but only if their discovery is shared with others. If you're interested in getting involved with real archaeological detective work, then this may be for you, because the museum brings together both amateur and professional archaeologists. We've got a mixture of people who are qualified archaeologists who worked in archaeology in the past. We've got those who are students, some are doing degrees, some are doing MA, some are doing certificates. Um, and we've got a mixture of people who are just interested in archaeology. We've looked at two aerial photographs and they clearly show some enclosures here, round enclosures, on, which are um, Bronze Age, Stroke, Iron Age, roundhouses. We've got all pegged out into 10 metre squares. And the object is that every, every fine will be plotted on my computer and then I can eventually look at the whole scenario of the whole field system and see where the fines are found. Because it should mean underneath there, or very close to there, is a building. Right everybody, can I have a bit of peace a minute, please? Can we have one person per square? And this, which Wendy's put up on each of them, is your square. So go off these, okay? It's just a field and trying to create what it might have been in the past from what's left in the ground or just on the surface. That's um, the interest for me. Signs that this site has been used for 4,000 years. And that's, that's, that's interesting to find out how a site has evolved and the use of it has evolved over all that period. But just think, I'm probably the first person to hold this piece for 2,000 years. I mean, you can't get any better than that. <laughs> I think that might be a bit of bone, so uh, fairly gently. carefully with it. This is um, from one of the grid squares. Um, it's all collected together and then it will be examined when it's dry at a later date. It's something between Bronze and Iron Age, so it's, it's, a, you know, it's quite a few thousand years old. Lovely pedestal base there. Yeah. So, if you do find anything while out walking or metal detecting, please bring it in to the Fines Liaison Officer for recording. Remember, you found a piece of history, and by reporting it, you're contributing to our understanding of Wiltshire's past.